Hi, uh, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Vauxhall Mocha. Um, really nice clean car this one with some really nice extras. I'm not sure what's standard on the SE model, um, but it seems really well equipped. I'll obviously make it clear on the Auto Trader ad what is a standard feature and what is an additional extra. Uh, right, anyway, let's have a look around. Um, really nice paintwork all round. I've not had to touch it since it's come in basically, just a quick clean off and that's it. It's not had any paintwork or anything like that. Uh, metallic black, 17 inch wheels, all of which are in really nice condition with maybe just one or two really minor marks. But bodywork all really straight, no big dents or scratches or anything to point out. Obviously you can have a couple of little marks on a seven year old car, but nothing that I need to bring to your attention. Rear parking sensors down there. It's got the spoiler with the built-in high-level brake light. Parcel shelf is present. Inside here is your tyre inflation kit. It has got a false floor here uh, with space by the looks of it to put a spare wheel in if you wanted a spare wheel as well. I know some people prefer that to the inflation kit uh, but that, that possibility is there. Uh, there's also a little screwdriver in there. Some storage areas up here and your light just there. To show you the roof roller over here. It's got the aluminium roof rails there. Front parking sensors is there as well, and fog lights down the bottom here. Daytime running lights as well, they're not LED ones, just regular halogen bulbs. Okay, we go inside now, start at the back. Right, so it's a really nice um, black and grey two tone leather with white and red contrast stitching. Uh, seats are immaculate throughout, interior in general is immaculate I must say. Um, three headrests along the back. If you're not using the middle seat it has got a little pull down armrest with some cup holders in. You've got your isofix points for the two outer rear seats. Decent bit of leg room there. Got electric windows over here and the leather carries on through into the door cards as well. magazine holders here and which seems to be commonplace on the mockers you get a sort of household plug there as opposed to a 12 volt point mats are present in the back and in the front as well but I'll show you those when we get there there's your child locks just there other sides obviously much the same but just so you have the full picture a few little marks here and there from people getting in and out of the car. Right, move on to the front. So you've got a switch here if you want to deactivate the airbag to put another car seat in here. I don't think it's got, no it hasn't got isofix points though, so you would just be using the traditional seat belt securing method. While we're there we'll show you the airbags on the side of the seats. Now these seats are partially electric for the height and the backwards and forwards for want of a better word. That's manual, um, but the tilt on the base and the lumbar support here is electric. Uh, Proxel kick plates and the branded mocha mats. Uh, they have two glove boxes, these little one up the top here, nothing going on in there. And the main one down the bottom. I'll include pictures of all this because it's obviously difficult to do one hand, but that's got all your owner's manuals in. And then in there is your locking wheel nut 
and your spare wheel bolts. In the front they've got a sort of polished aluminium effect throughout the door card. from the driver's perspective now. Um, so locking and unlocking, window lock for the back, then you've got your electric windows just there. Electric mirrors, they're power folding ones as well, so if you hold down here, they come in. Yeah, that's all working perfectly. Uh, your lighting controls here, it is auto headlights, and then you've got um, the brightness that you want the dash to display at, and headlamp aim adjustment if you're carrying additional passengers. There's a the dashboard itself. That flashing light is just because I haven't put my seatbelt on, so don't worry about that one. 80,897 miles as it sits here now. You've got your onboard computer controls and your indicators on that one. And your windscreen wipers on that one there. Came into us with two keys, both original Vauxhall remote locking type. They're both with the flip out blade. Sometimes you get one static one and one flip out one. There's a steering wheel, leather multifunction. So you've got your cruise control over here. And then this is for your audio and your telephone. It has got the Bluetooth module, so that will all work when you link your phone up. Obviously it's got an airbag there as well. Uh, here's the display for your radio. Um, sometimes these appear like they're flickering in the videos just because of the refresh rate difference, but they're not. That is all solid in front of my eyes. There's the CD450 unit here. I will press some buttons on here and things will happen up here. So AM, FM and DAB radio. It's got a single slot CD. We've got some auxiliary points which I'll show you in a minute. And then that is where you would be linking your phone up. Uh, traction control hazard lights and little sign comes up there if you've deactivated the passenger airbag. There's your radio, all pretty explanatory. It was those buttons down that side I was using just now to change the modes. Here's your heating controls. So you've got dual zone climate control. You've also got heated steering wheel and heated seats for the front. So that's some nice extras. Heated steering wheel is quite a rare one actually, I don't, you don't see that on a lot of them at all. Um, turn your parking sensors off there, turn your auto stop start off there. There's your 12 volt point for power there. And underneath that one is your auxiliary inputs, which is a headphone jack and a USB port. Six speed manual gearbox here. Cup holders there. A storage unit there with a sliding top. Uh, the driver gets a little armrest. We've got some additional head height airbags just up here. Then we have illuminated vanity mirrors here. There's your interior lighting controls. A uh, little sensor on there, so I think that is an auto dimming rear view mirror. And I think that's about everything I can see. Uh, one little thing I noticed. Oh, there. So it's got like the sports seats with the extendable bases. Um, right, yeah. With that, I think I've covered everything that I can see. If I've missed something, please just phone up and give me a call. I'll pop out and check for you straight away. Uh, I'll include as many photos as I can of the inside, the outside, and any paperwork that came with the car. So if you're a distance away and you want this one delivered, you should have had a really sort of thorough and transparent view of what the car's actually like. Um, if you're more local to us, obviously you're welcome to pop in as well. Um, just phone us up and make an appointment to do so. Okay, thank you very much for watching.